Okay, this one I want to try to do. I'm wanting to get this uh, like a gradient going down, like it's bright up here, like Indiana Jones or a monster movie. But I want to get the insides of it black. So I think what I want to try is I painted it red, then did my my shading. Then I'm going to take the uh, Aquanet here. I actually want to clear coat it first with Krylon Ultra Clear. Take that, do two coats so it's good and protected. Then we're we'll going to spray the Aquanet hairspray all over it and let it dry. Probably let it dry overnight. And then I'm going to take my my uh, Jan Green FX11 and spray the whole the whole nameplate of my Godzilla model with that. And once that's done, let it dry. Then I know it's thin by isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to take my 91% alcohol take it with a rag and try to wipe down all the raised lettering around the edges and the name and hopefully what will happen is it should all come off then it will be painted gradient with black and all the recesses and the cracks in the middle hopefully it will look really, really interesting I'm trying to trying this I'm trying to find a way to do it and this occurred to me the other night using like the hairspray method for weathering maybe it will work for this too so I'm going to go clear coat this wait a little bit let it dry and a little bit later try to darken it up and see how it goes. Okay, I've already taken it. I put two gloss coats of a clear on it. And then I've, earlier today I sprayed the hairspray on it and let it dry. Now all I'm going to do, and if my idea works, I should be able to spray it all one color, which is what I'm going to do now. And when I wipe it off the alcohol, it should just take the black off, or the, the green actually is what I'm using. But I'm going to uh, go ahead and put a coat on it, let it dry, and then do another one. I thought also I've got a good base color on it. And I'm trying not to put too much, but I've got to tilt it certain ways to get in all the angles. So that's a little bit more difficult, but you know, it's part of painting. Keep it as loud as I can, but trying to get in the crack. I'll probably try to stay far enough back that it doesn't coat up or get too thick on me. I'm using the same base color as I did on Godzilla himself, so that should help it all blend in good and match the rest of it. I'm leaving the edges blank the best I can. I'll spread a little bit this way, get along these edges. It's amazing the little cracks in the, in the, in the Nooks you didn't see from one angle. Okay, I've done this one, checking all my angles. Got a little bit wrong here. Now, all right. Now it should. It's all one good color. So I'm gonna let this dry in a little bit. Then I'm taking a. Uh, paper towel with a uh, alcohol, I'll come back and I'll videotape that and just rub it and it should get it off all the high spots. We'll just see how it goes. Okay, I've got it dry and I took some, uh, since it's tamale, since it's tamale paint, it's, uh, you can thin it with alcohol, so I decided to use alcohol to try to wipe down. We'll see if this works. Looks like it's going to work. Get a good hold here. Try not to get it on the on the lower parts and clean it. But the but I got clear coat under it, two layers of gloss, so that should protect the underpaint. I mean, this is working really good. I'm happy with this. 
kind of a little bit of an experiment and uh so it's going to pay off I'm trying not to get any in the the lower part it just uh gets that paint right off that hairspray i guess did the good job Just uh, wow, it's, it's actually doing a lot better than I thought it would. I thought I'd actually have to do some hard scrubbing, but it's just coming uh, right off. Actually, a little bit too good. I'm a little bit worried about it when I start up. Man, so I'm gonna have to take the uh, the uh, what once this is dry, I guess, from wiping all this up. I'm going to take it and, um, that's looking real good. I'm going to take it and, uh, clear coat it probably a couple times to make sure I've got all the, uh, all of it sealed in so the hairspray shouldn't cause it to come off anymore. Let me, uh, <clears throat> this one. Yeah, it's just taking that paint right off. So my experiment worked. If it hadn't, I was just going to paint it over and try to come up with some other method. Probably I'll take a clean rag in a second and go over it again. But see, that's looking really nice really since I like that a lot with the other end because it's got no paint on it paint comes off good okay, get some excesses off and, uh, keep wiping it I'm just Going real quick so don't get it down in any recesses. Now get all this swapped off. That looks great. I really wasn't expecting it to work this well, to be honest. I thought it would be a lot of scrubbing and a, a lot of work, but it's, it's really none at all. Make sure to get it off the edges here. And, uh, as you can see, it just came off in just a minute or so, so it, uh, it's looking really good. Now once this is done, I will take my gloss clear coat, clear coat it here to get rid of the, uh, to, to make it shine and it'll work. I just noticed I got a little bit of red came off right here. So I can just take a little quick touch up and fix that. That'll take just a second. But, uh, it looks, it looks good to go. I'll take, uh, make a tutorial of this and maybe it'll benefit somebody else.